Next we have proposed policy, transparent salary information. That's on page 114 of the regular materials. All right, well, I don't see it on page 114. It's on Uh, page 114 of the late materials. Very good. And Director Nevitt, would you like to present on this? Sure. Um, I think this was a joint effort, and we all probably have a slightly different take on it, so I would invite others to um, to jump in as well. So this is, this is an issue that the board has been discussing for several months, and I know, um, and, and even before that, it's been of interest and concern for some folks. Um, it's also one that since the first time it was mentioned at the board table has been of great interest and concern among WISBA employees. Um, I want to clarify that this is not an initiative that I would have taken on or that I recommend necessarily. However, um, I have worked uh, with Treasurer Clark and with President Majumdar and uh, President-elect Shaketi to try to come up with a policy proposal that I think does the best job it can in a uh, meeting the transparency goals that board members have expressed while also balance, balancing the privacy concerns that employees have expressed. Um, uh, some of the comments from employees are contained in the materials. In addition, I did uh, invite people another opportunity to provide comment after seeing the proposal. Um, I just got a few comments and I just want to share them briefly. Um, the first was that many employees have unique titles, so it would be preferable for any titles that are posted to be made generic. Second, there was a suggestion that it might be nice to review our compensation philosophy through an equity lens, and we could task our HR department, our equity and justice team to look at that. Um, there was also a comment that, you know, just still not quite understanding what the problem is that we're trying to solve, given that the information is already available through a public records request, and the board has oversight over salaries through the budgeting process. Um, and then just a deep concern that the action might breed resentment and distrust, both um, between the board and the staff, but also among employees. Um, so I wanted to share those, and I would invite um, anyone else who's worked hard on this proposal to jump in with their thoughts. If I may, Rajiv. Governor Clark, please. Sure. So the, the whole goal of this is to be transparent, and right now there is no available info on uh, online. Somebody has to make a um, a records a records thing, and and there's a uh, um, 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 it, it's not free. So I think it's a really fair proposal. Um, it's one that I, I mean I I I I I, 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 I mean yeah yeah um, um whatnot. Okay, so thank you. And my only comment will be that I really appreciate all the hard work that both Director Nevitt and Treasurer Clark, um, the Budget and Audit Committee, and the staff of the WSBA have put into figuring out what all the concerns are and coming to good compromises and collaborations. And what I think the end product here is will be uh, meaningful information uh, uh, about what the WSBA is ab about and how we spend money uh, while uh, protecting um, people's privacy uh, concerns. I see a hand from Director Platchy. Thank you, President Najumdar. I don't know if there's a discussion or there a discussion going to follow on the actual proposed policy, but if there is, I would recommend in the policy and the, there's four bullet points in the proposed policy. And for the second one, I would recommend some specific wording around the job titles that say generic job titles rather than job titles, because as uh, executive director Nevitt stated, some of the job titles, if we don't use very generic job titles, would be identifiable to a person. And I think it would be important to 
uh, specifically state generic job titles if that's what it's going to be. And I guess I have a question for some of the collaborators. The marching order from the Board of Governors was to create a list of current employee job titles, parens, which can be generic. And so I assume that was an inherent assumption. Was that everyone else? Was that the other drafters' assumption? Governor Clark, I see your hand up. Uh, to a point, but we're not going to list the, the actual salaries. We're going to list a range. So making them generic, I don't see how that is um, a, um, a need and is being transparent. If you just say, you know, staff. I see what I'm saying. I mean, we're not going to we're not going to list the uh, 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 okay their salaries. So, what is the harm from you know for having the starting point, a midpoint, and a uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, a maximum? Governor Stephen. So uh, I'm going to at least. Uh, as I heard it, and um, and this is somewhat in response to Governor Clark, but um, it is to add generic to that. What I heard was that there are some job titles that are so specific that you won't need to have the name listed, but you will divine exactly who that person is. And so the idea is to identify job titles, put them in bands, and then show the the range of the salaries, and I uh, I for one think that's a that's a very good idea, um, and I think that that goes along. And maybe um, Chief Disciplinary Officer will comment on that. But there are people within his group that if you just listed their title, you would be able you may be able to divine exactly who that person is. And and he mentioned that there are people out there who troll his staff who do things that um, we would not intend, but in fact, are highly uh, injurious to the staff that that he works for. The idea is, if I understand this proposal and if it hasn't been moved, I will move it with the idea of adding generic to the job title, but as I also see the proposal, this is going to be something in which, and let me look at the language, um, that the executive director will work with general counsel and the interim human resources director to adopt and execute. And um, so I'm, I'm making that, I'm making that motion. Thank you, Governor Stevens. That is the motion on the table. I'll second that. Hold on, everyone. All right, Governor Peterson, is that a second? Yep. All right, and then I have hands in the air. I got Governor Grabicki, Governor elect Mansfield, I have past President Pickett. Oh, and there's a motion on the table, which is the topic of discussion, which is to add the word generic. Governor Grabicki. My recollection um, is that the last time we took up this topic as a board, we resolved that uh, we would send it back for um, Tara and Doug and our HR director and Dan Clark to work up a specific proposal and bring it back to us. And now what we have before us today is basically the same thing, that um, Tara and the HR director and somebody else are going to um, create this thing. I don't think we're ready to vote on this. I think we want to see what it is that they're actually going to put out there before we vote at all. Um, uh, rather than just um, uh, saying, yeah, do this or make it generic. I think we really want to see it. And then I think we want to hear specifically from uh, Doug Andy once we have a concrete proposal on the table as to whether it still is a problem for him and for his employees. So I move to table. I have in the list, I have Mansfield, Pickett, Nevitt, and Day. And I will have. Point of order, do you have a, a second? I don't have a second yet. Man, uh, President, Governor Left Mansfield. Um, 
I'm just thinking back to what um, Chief Disciplinary Counsel Doug Ende said, and uh, he definitely has boots on the ground uh, in this. Um, and I know that we need to balance transparency. Um, we, we, what I'm really trying to say is that I hope that we can proceed with an eye toward protecting those who may be vulnerable with this information. Uh, exposed. Thank you. That's all. Past President Pickett. Um, I, well, I agree uh, with Lisa on this this point. Protecting people first and foremost. I also agree with with Dan Clark on his desire for transparency. Uh, but if this board's taught me anything over the last five years, how you go about accomplishing transparency can take on a multitude of different ways. And I think we already we already publish salary for the salaries that this organization incurred that's in the budget and if anybody wants to know how much money is spent on salaries we all know to take it a step further and to start identifying either people or positions uh, only i don't know that it enhances transparency as much as it creates the potential for division because if you want to divide people, you want to divide them, you talk about how much money somebody makes or doesn't make, and you will see a mass division, not only amongst the membership and, the, and every member's thought of what somebody sh makes versus what they think they ought to make, which isn't really relevant, but you will more importantly see the potential for mass division within the staff that really is the backbone of this organization. As much as we like to come to these meetings and talk and decide things, they do the heavy lifting day in, day out. And so if there's a risk of dividing those folks who we need to work in unity together because we're going to publish numbers uh, and then have people call that into question or some feel slighted or or disproportionate or all of those things. I think that's a bad idea. Um, and I do not want, I would hate to see that land, you know, whose land, uh, lap it's going to land on is Tara's. Uh, that'll be a never ending debacle that she will spend an enormous amount of time trying to deal with. And it is unnecessary given that I believe we already are transparent in the amount of money that is spent on salary. So, Mr. President, I yield back. Thank you. Mr. President, I'm still giving a point of order. Is there a second to the motion to table? There has not been one yet. Director Nevin. Well, then, no, Miss point of order, Mr. President. If there is not a second, then the motion dies, and we're talking about the proposal that I, the motion that I made. But I need to know where we are. Restate your motion, please, Governor Stevens. No. Okay. My motion was to adopt the policy. Okay. Adding the word generic to job titles. Yeah. But Governor Krabicki has made a motion to table. Yes. And I've asked if there's a second. The motion and, dies. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for walking me through your concern. Okay. Director Nevitt, and then I have... Director Endy. Thank you. Uh, I just, I wanted to respond a bit to Governor Grabicki, and I realize the motion has now failed, but I just, I also wanted to maybe provide a little more explanation of what was provided in here. Um, one thing that I have been thinking a lot about as I look to um, continuing in this role is I think you've heard me talk many times about trying to get greater clarity in the role of the executive director versus the role of the board, something that I think is really important for us to work together to clarify. Um, and I think that it'll go a long way um, towards reducing friction. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I tried to do with this was think about what is that line between policy and um, execution of that policy. And so I would certainly be happy to bring back um, the procedure, which I would consider an execution of the policy for the board to look at. But what I was trying to do here was bring back the board a policy which would um, enshrine 
um, a requirement that we do post information on the website about salaries and benefits in order to um, meet the goals of accountability to our compensation philosophy and transparency. And then it was, it was my intention that the procedure would be something that would be developed internally in order to carry out that policy and would provide for some flexibility over time as circumstances changed. Thank you, Director Nevitt. Director Ende. Thank you, President Majumdar. Um, uh, I, I am not going to wind myself up again today, um, in part because immediate past President Pickett wound himself up so eloquently. Uh, and uh, I agree with what he said on balance. If this is a balance, um, the risks and the drawbacks um, of uh, posting salary information for WISBA staff outweigh any conceivable benefit uh, in the name of transparency. Um, to the extent that compromise is needed here, and if it is needed, it's fine. Um, what I said at the last meeting stands, what we want to avoid is information being individually identifiable to particular WISBA staff. And for that reason, I wholeheartedly agree uh, with uh, the suggestion of uh, Director Fauci and, uh, and the, uh, the spirit of the motion. Thank you. I have Governor Stevens and Governor Gerbicki. Okay. So uh, I am referencing page 115 of the uh, meeting materials. Um, and my motion is to go forward with, um, it's actually to go forward with the policy, which would be um, that there would be a um, revision to the compensation policy. There would be um, then production of the compensation policy. Uh, there would be current WISBA employee pay classification bans, including starting midpoint and ceiling, and the generic jo job titles within those bans, a copy of the, uh, the handbook, and a, and a summary of the WISBA employee benefits. And all of that, I think, is to put the uh, uh, pay classification in context. Um, and it gives a... Um, and, and then it gives limitations for what it would not show. And so that is what my motion is. And, um, and, and I'm making that motion to then give direction to the executive director and others to go forth under, those, uh, under that framework and come back with the specifics. Thank you for the clarification. Governor Grabicki? Tara, what do the individual employees know now about the compensation of their fellow employees? Well, uh, we have a sort of job grade, I, I can't remember what we call it, but kind of a comp plan grid that shows, um, similar to what's being proposed here, um, it shows what the dif different job grades are, what the starting point is, what the midpoint is, and what the end point is. And there are not all of the job titles listed there, but there are examples of the job titles listed there. So people have a sense of what the ranges are within each uh, classification. So do you have any um, concern that once this thing is developed and is put out there that um, you're going to have unrest among employees saying, I didn't realize that X, that that position pays X and that's not fair to me and all of that. I mean, the, the whole issue that every employer has about whether you want all your employees to know what other employees make. Sure. I mean, yes, I think that could be possible. I think there's no doubt that this is not a popular <laughs> proposal among the employees. And, you know, we're trying to find a compromise if this is important. Um, I do want to, I also want to say, though, that I think pay equity is an important issue that we should be tackling head on. Um, and it was interesting because when we first brought this up, 
we did get a little bit of feedback initially that said, you know, transparency might actually make sure that we do have pay equity. So, so I, I see both sides of the issue. Um, I, I certainly, and I, and I'll just say this, that I'm certainly committed to us evaluating our, our pay and looking at the data and making sure that our pay is equitable. Um, because I think we should do that no matter what, whether we're sharing this or not. Okay, I don't see any further hands, so I will move to a roll call vote on the question uh, by Governor Stevens, which was to pass the proposed policy with the addition of the word generic for job titles. And start with Governor Abel. Aye. Governor Angelville. Aye. Governor Clark. Aye. Governor Gerbicki. No. Governor King. Aye. Governor Knight. Aye. Governor McBride. Aye. Governor Peterson. Yes. Governor Kiketi. Aye. Governor Stevens. Aye. Governor Tollefson. Aye. Uh, 10 votes for, one against. The motion carries. Director Nevitt has a policy for which gives her latitude to execute a procedure and execution of. Thank you uh, for everyone's hard work on that and all the compromises made in doing that. Uh, 